This is very tech driven, very highbrow, so we, we gotta ask you to leave. So we're here at the Amaze VR Event Sevenfold event. I am holding the Apple Vision Pro, which is brand new, just released by Apple a few weeks ago. We're gonna be testing out this new Event Sevenfold Amaze VR experience where they've built this virtual reality performance, filmed it with cutting edge cameras, and using Unreal Engine, they've built a world around them that changes as they play their music. So you can experience this on both the Apple Vision Pro, but also on the Meta headsets. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna try this out and uh, see how this goes. It's gonna be crazy. You're probably wondering how I ended up here. I am too. Some fancy event in Los Angeles, a long way from home. I flew across the country for this. Virtual reality, what the hell is that anyways? Apple Vision Pro VR headsets. Is everybody really just gonna be jerking off all the time with these things on? A real dystopian future. But there are some bright sides. This concert from Event Sevenfold seems pretty cool. They shot it with specialized cameras that give a photorealistic effect. The camera work is really good. You're flying around at times above the band and directly in front of M. Shadow's face. This is one of the first VR experiences I've had that didn't make me dizzy or didn't make me want to take my headset off after a couple minutes of boredom. Also, in the past when I've messed around with my meta headset, the graphics weren't very good. A lot of times on the development side too, it felt like some of the apps were phoned in. This is something I can get behind. An experience like the concert DVDs I grew up loving. Everything from Metallica's S&M to Lamb of God's Philadelphia. This is the modern high-tech version of the at-home concert. Not intended to replace live entertainment. You couldn't do that anyways. I had the chance to talk to some members of the band and some of my friends who were there about this new concert. Maybe it was the copious amounts of Event Sevenfold beer I'd been drinking, but everybody seemed to really enjoy this concert. Here's more. Like, Johnny, like, I've tried different types of VR videos, for sure, you know, extensively, and, um, you know, I've never seen anything like this. And you see kind of where the technology can progress to. And what I think is really interesting is that you can see this maybe in the future. You're building these environments that, that line up with the songs, and, and you're exploring the environments, and you're interacting with them directly. I wonder if you foresee this in the future turning into more of a social component as well, where the fan base can interact with the artist, because I feel like that's a big component of virtual reality, and I could see that just being a, a very slight evolution, like you're on the verge of that happening. I could see there being a version where, you know, your Apple Music profile or whatever knows your name, and then suddenly Matt is speaking directly <laughs> to you and saying your name, you know, but um, I definitely can see that happening, but I'm I'm hoping that using AI, it's not just about making personalized experiences, it's actually still a tool that's enhancing things that people are actually making. Because like I said earlier, my feeling and my relationship with AI is that it's giving me too much and I want less. Mm. And so until we get to that point where AI is having a conversation with me as a creative and it's and we're speaking at the same level, it's it's not a tool for me in that way. Bring it full. This Apple Vision Pro is crazy. Look at your hands to sum up. I think I hear bees. I hear him, dude. I hear him. He's here. <laughs> What's up, bro? Wow. It's hyper realistic. This is like the ultimate front row. You're not even front row, you're on the stage. There's some sort of like jump scares in here as well. The scenery around the performances is mind blowing. Whoa. You can actually grab physical. Hope that not. And the clarity is still. You can grab physical objects in the environment. That's crazy. This is like the most compelling VR I've ever seen. Awesome. Yeah, I love it. Crazy. Yeah. Mind blowing. That yeah. was really cool. Sorry. I've never seen anything like that. 
I remember like um, Matt was telling me like it's really cool but like take how cool you think it is and, and add to it because I've seen 360 concerts I've messed with all that kind of stuff but to see like a physical environment around it yeah. it's built with like Unreal Engine and everything I've never seen anything and then on the Apple Vision Pro which is just mind blowing I've never used that yet yeah. so oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah I mean I've used like um, the Oculus and all of that but, but this um, that's crazy yeah. I mean that's that's a that's a I grew up like loving oh yeah a live concert DVD and then the live stream like this is to the next level and this is a different way to experience the album now we got Bees trying it right here check it out what's up bro shout out to Bees he's trying that Vision Pro headset on now he's about to experience it also I love the LWO shirt bro thank you amazing <laughs> We got wrestling fans in the house. Oh, yeah, always. I grew up on the concert DVD, you know, or the yeah, whatever, you know, the yeah. live album. Like, imagine the Metallica S&M live record with yeah. an Unreal Engine environment around it. It's, it's, yeah. this is the crossover point between bands and video games yeah. in many ways. I love when they can take you out of the environment. The thought of seeing a band like literally live from the city of <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to do a music video where it's performance based and we were worried that it would come across that way. After a few meetings and figuring out the creative uh, direction that this would actually go, uh, we felt comfortable and were able to create something much bigger than just a like, concert or yes. music video. So I've done VR stuff before, I've played like, you know, the Batman Arkham thing and I've uh, been to, uh, you know, birthday parties where there was like VR escape rooms, and this was not that. But as soon as that thing came on, it was so intense how up close and personal the band was. I just, it, and just the photorealism. For those who haven't seen it, how would you describe it? Video game meets Broadway musical meets music video meets live concert. I love it. What went into, you know, from the band perspective, you guys are very vision driven and you have a lot of input on how you want to be presented in the world. You don't want anything to feel like it's phoned in. I wasn't sure what to expect when you told me, you know, this is going to be crazy. And I'm like, you know, yeah. everybody's going to advocate for what they're doing. But then I put that headset on and genuinely, it was fucking mind blowing. I haven't seen anything like it. This is just the beginning. It's literally just a, a footprint. Right. In, into the future. Amaze VR came to us and through management, um, we have a killer on our team, Samantha. She's awesome. Who just literally hounded us on this. And, you know, me and Brian definitely consider ourselves futurists. Right. But we also understand when the technology is not quite up to par. Right. Samantha was able to prove to us um, that it was going to be great. Right. And learning about Lance Drake, communicating with him, having conversations, and understanding that with the advent of Unreal Engine 5 right. and the new technology that was out, that this was going to be able to be uh, incredible as long as we were able to put the time into it to nurture it, right? right? Like to make it the way we wanted to make it. So this has been totally amazing. I've been partying with the Vin Sevenfold. I'm trying to stay here all night, honestly, and drink with you. Yeah. We got real press here. I'm real press. I'm on YouTube. Okay. We got Meta, we got Apple, we got Forbes, we got New York Times, we got everyone here. How's it go? Listen, you're great for what you do. The YouTube audience is not something we're interested in. So this is very tech driven, very highbrow. So we, we got to ask you to leave. You know I love you, bro. Yeah, no, no, it's no. It's nothing personal. I'm just gonna, yeah, you're the man. You're the I'm man. just gonna fly the three thousand miles back home, and thank you, bro. I appreciate it. It's all all right, see you, man. Thank you.